Good morning. Uh, I'm going to set up an antenna here, and uh, this is the portable setup. Inside here is a uh, Shagu G90 two pound uh, HF radio. This is the super antenna, and uh, this is the battery. So that's it. But if I want to get a MVC antenna, then I need to have this set up. Uh, this is the MVC antenna, and this is the antenna base. Uh, basically, it's just a base. I put uh, this plastic outside to make it uh, solid. Inside this bag, this is MVC antenna. I put on this base. I changed it. I had two bases. The same thing. I just put this one in this way. This has a uh, balloon here and uh, this is the antenna. Uh, this NVS antenna is set up. It's pretty easy to set this up. I replaced the wire with my own wire. The original wire is uh, for 6 and 9 megahertz. Uh, this wire is for the 14, for 20 and the 40 meter band. So the red wire is for the uh, 40 meter band and uh, the short wire uh, is for the 20 meter band. And I'm going to set this up. This is what's in the box. The Shangu G90 and the battery. And I'm going to put this one into this bag, uh, put this cable to the base. <sighs> nice weather. Uh, this MBS is set up and uh, the radio is set up. The radio is this small radio, very small. And the battery is here, everything's ready. But uh, let me check the SWR. This is a, a 40 meter band, that's check the 40 meter band. Oh, this is a, a 20 meter band. This. Two, one. Yeah, the lowest is at 1.5. Uh, let me see, at uh, 14.3. Uh, okay. And uh, yeah, it's 1.5 around. One point, and let's look at the 40 meter band. 40 meter band. Let's take a look. Okay, five, three. Wow, seven point one seven, optimal. Then it's going up. Let's go down. Seven point two around. So it's a super. Okay, I'm ready. I set up this, uh, uh, I put uh, my IC7300 out also. And that radio need to be powered by this uh, humongous battery. Um, my G90 is powered by this little battery. And the G90 is for the portable setup. And this is for the station. And I'm waiting for the Seattle guy set up his uh, antenna. Uh, so today we're going to do a communication between uh, San Francisco Bay Area to Seattle using this uh, MS antenna. This is WJ6JW calling KF7 WNK. I'm at 2 watts. Can you hear me? I know you can hear me at 5 watts. How about 2 watts? Over. For this MS antenna, I have several bays. Uh, this is the base, one base, this is another base, and this is the third base. And uh, this base is very solid. I use that quite often. And uh, this is, uh, basically this is the receiver, and I put uh, some enclosure there. And it's uh, very good. 
and now I'll try this base. Also the same thing inside. I put a the a a, a, a a base here, and uh, I use this MFJ and this wire need to be connected. Let's see. One point zero, super. And go lower, it's up. 7.27, very good. Go up, yeah, let's go to the 40 meter band, uh, 20 meter band. It's going lower. This is lost at 3.0. I believe then it's going up so it's not good at 20 meter band and uh, uh, at the 40 meter band 1.0 but if I flip this wire do not connect to that it's a huge it's SWR is huge so this base is working quite well for the 40 meter band I switch to this uh, uh, Balance and let's see the SWR at the 40 meter, meter band. Okay, let's see. Still pretty good. 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 7.27. Then it's going up. Let's look at the 40 meter. Go lower. Oh, there is 3.0. Let's see. 3.0, 2.9. Okay. This is the lowest. 2.6, not that bad. Yeah. For this uh, uh, antenna, let's look at this WR uh, here. This is a 40 meter band. Okay, hit 1.0. Pretty good at the 7.20. Then go up. It's very sensitive, very narrow. It's very narrow. So let's see it again. It hit 1.0, then it go up right away. And I'm using RC7300 shooting 50 watts and uh, listen to the recording received by uh, SDR uh, receiver at Utah. This is Whitney Junior, Whitney calling KF7WNK at uh, 50 watts, I'm at uh, uh, Central Control Manual calling KF7WNK, over. Being, uh, at the Utah SDR station, uh, when I'm using Shegu G90 at 20 watts, so I'm sending 20 watts and uh, here's the Utah recording. Junior Whiskey calling KF7WNK, KF7WNK, I'm on Chiagu uh, G90 at 20 watts right now using Envis antenna, over. I get from Utah SDR site, um, when I'm using Chiagu G90 at uh, uh, 5 watts, uh, uh, SDR recording at Utah uh, when I'm using Shagu G90 transmitting at 2 watts. As a conclusion, today I tested both radios and this antenna and the super antenna over there. Um, here's the conclusion. 
uh, for the MVS antenna at the uh, 20 meter band both radio transmit regardless of the power 20 watts or 40 or 100 watts the Utah SW SDR cannot hear at all but at the 40 meter band uh, Utah SDR can hear both of them and even this is sending at uh, 2 watts it can hear uh, no problem the voice quality wise they are same they are as clear or as not clear to the Utah SWR at uh, 5 watts this is very clear uh, Utah SDR reporting that uh, the voice is 5.7 and 2 watts Utah SDR is uh, like 5.5 five. Uh, so to me these two radios are similar uh, and uh, G90 is behaving quite well uh, as to the antenna this is the MVS antenna huge one and that one is the super antenna I transmit at the 40 meter band and uh, both radio is kind of noisy to the uh, Utah SDR and at the 20 watts uh, it's uh, the Utah SDR reporting a uh, report that uh, it can hear but it's kind of noisy 5553 uh, three, uh, three, five, something like that. So antenna-wise, um, uh, envious antenna, this big one, is performing far better than the this uh, portable super antenna. But the super antenna is doable; it's working. Uh, yeah. So, and for the base, uh, this big base is pretty good, solid. Uh, 1.0 at uh, 7.27 and uh, uh, 1.5 at 14.3 uh, uh, this base uh, I need to hook up to, uh, to I have two balance and uh, both balance works quite well at uh, uh, 40 meter 7.27 you can hit 1.0 but at uh, uh, 20 meter band uh, this can do only do 3.0 this can go down to 2 point something uh, not as good as this uh, base but they're doable uh, this concludes today's testing thank you very much